Yeah. Hey, how's it going, sexy few lines? My name is MCIK or CJ. Welcome everybody back to another Warframe video. Today's video, we are going to be taking a look on Volt. He was reworked in his last update, 18.13, and he has quite a few new tricks up his sleeve, so I'm going to take a look at all of those today. Hope you guys enjoy. Alright guys, so I'm going to look over all of the abilities from start to finish, from the first one to the last one, and show you guys what's new and what has changed. Alright guys, we'll start off with Shock. So Shock is basically the same. It hasn't changed really at all on its own. It does have some new elements with the other abilities. I'll talk to you guys about that whenever I get into those abilities. But yeah, on its own, it's still the same. Good old shock. It really is just good control. control. Alright, as for speed, they've taken the FOV down quite a bit on this ability. It was kind of annoying using this whenever you toggled from, you know, using speed and not using speed. There would be this dr just drastic change in FOV. So, thank you for that, fixing that, DE. Another thing that changed with speed is now there's an optional. It's optional now for other players that they want to be speed boosted or not speed buffed. So basically whenever Volt is in a mission with other players and he activates speed, he will leave behind a sort of a little spring, it looks like, and that is basically his ability. And you can choose to, you know, pick it up if you want to and that will activate speed for you. If you're not if you're not playing as Volt, of course. So I think that's nice that it gives, it gives an option now. They've added a lot of things to Electric Shield. One of them is being they changed the way this thing looks from casting and to shooting projectiles through. They've also added some really nice ambient sounds. You guys remember when I was telling you about shock? Well, here it comes in handy. So, shock, if shock is actually activated through electric shield, it will basically charge up electric shield and whenever an enemy comes into the shield and passes through it, it will deal electricity damage to it. That's, I think that's pretty great. I mean, it's, it, it, it's not insane, but it's something to, you know, to keep in mind whenever you're using it. So, the one good thing now about shock is that you can activate it on electric shield, just shoot it through right through the shield, and it will basically just power electric shield up even more, and whenever an enemy passes through it, it will take some damage of electricity. So, it's not a terrible ability. Second and the last thing about Electric Shield, it can actually be picked up now, which I think is I think that's a great ability. I think that's probably my favorite part out of the Electric Shield now. You can pick up the shield and it can be mobile with you. Keep in mind though, it will cost energy to hold the shield. For the longer you hold it, it'll you know take more energy out. So make sure you guys have a good efficiency build. Also keep in mind you can only use your melee and your secondary weapon. You cannot use your primary while holding the shield. So make sure you guys remember that. Last thing I want to say about this is that you can only have four shields up at a time maximum. You, there is no more. You can't spam this anymore. Uh, I think that's that's cool. I guess that's not it's not a terrible thing. I guess there's got to be limitations somewhere, so they added it here. You used to be able to spam this thing and put as many shields as you want up, but I think four is good. And the shields are quite big now. And of course, you can add range to make them even bigger. But still, uh, yeah, make sure you guys remember that you can only have, you can only have four shields up at a time. Moving on to Volt's Ultimate, Discharge, formerly known as Overload, of course. So you guys know how a Voban works, right, with his Teslas? Well, this is similar, actually, surprisingly. So when you activate this Discharge, it sends out a wave from Volt, and it must, I guess you have to point out, it goes much faster, and it's almost instantaneous uh, than the original Volt. That's what was my problem with it. It took a long time for the electricity to, to spread out from Volt. So, uh, yeah, it's almost instantaneous, it goes away, and any enemies that are caught in that are turned into Tesla coils, basically Tesla balls. They'll zap anything nearby, uh, within the range, of course. That is also including enemies that are affected by discharge, so it can make this giant cluster rape, make this huge fest of just enemies electrocuting each other, which over time, that can deal quite a bit of damage. Another thing you can do with Discharge, you can activate Shock or you can cast Shock on one of the Tesla coils, one of the enemies affected by Discharge, and it will create an AoE burst. So I think that's fantastic. You can spam, you finally have a reason to spam, you know, Shock now. And they really, it's not useful, it's not useful now, other than just crowd control. So it's a good ability now. <laughs> one last thing I want to mention about Discharge. You can actually use it on crates, you know, crates in the void. You can actually use it on crates in the void, but make sure you keep in mind that it can only have one charge, which means once it zaps one enemy, basically it just turns back into a regular crate that's been opened. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Overall, I think this is a definitely a rework for the better. I don't know if he can scale into late game still. I was hoping for maybe something a little bit more to make him a little more tactical so he could kind of solo on his own, but 
honestly, in a group, I think he's a great he's a great war from overall. Yeah, the rework was definitely necessary, and I think that they're kind of getting the right idea now. So we'll see what happens in the future. Stuff might change. So uh, make sure you guys are always open-minded for that. So if things change, I might leave it in the comments below and make sure I let you guys know or make a video. So don't worry, guys. You don't have to leave a comment, okay? I'm sorry. It might not be 100% accurate when, this, when you're watching this video, okay? <laughs> anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And uh, let me know what you guys think of the rework, if it's for the better or for the worse. That's up to you guys to decide. Honestly, like I said, I think it's pretty nice. And it's a good change. Honestly, out of all this, I'm just really happy they decreased the FOV on speed. Thank fucking God. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed If you guys did, leave a like down below. That would be awesome. Subscribe to the Dungeon on the Feline Pack if you guys haven't already. And I will definitely see you guys in the next video. There's been a lot of changes with a lot of Warframes. Some like Valkyr, Excalibur, Mirage, Mesa, and of course Mag. And I'm going to be trying to go over all of these. I might add some of them, you know, squish them into a video together. Some of the smaller ones so I can make a, a substantial video for you guys. Something that has substance to it. Not some short ass video. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I will most definitely see you guys for tomorrow's video. Have an awesome day. My name's MCIK, and peace out.